Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Gavin Lockyer from Arafura. How are you today? I'm good, thanks Tracy, and good to see you again. It's fantastic to see you all the way over from Australia, and of course, for those out there in Investor Intel, we've been with Arafura for literally years, and you're one of the original rare earth companies we started following in 2008, 2009. For sure, and um, you know, we, we think that Investor Intel does a great service, and um, we we're happy to support them in any way we can. And of course, for everyone out in Investor or Intel, you may have remembered the boom in the rare earth industry where we went from approximately seven to 10 rare earth companies to over 500. Can you provide Investor Intel audiences with a bit of an overview about your competitive advantage? Sure, I think the obvious one, Tracy, is around our, our resource itself. Very few other projects out there are enriched in neodymium and praseodymium as Arafira's Nolan's Bore project is. So that's a, a natural competitive advantage. Combine that with the, uh, the phosphate that um, gives us an operating credit, um, I think we've got some real advantages over our competitors. And of course, what I'd like to bring up is our analyst, Laura Smith, recently had a headline with massive cash injection for anticipated rare earth development. Now, what exactly does she mean by that? Well, we, we came and tested the market in uh, earlier this year, and we were pleasantly surprised that uh, on the back of the lithium and the battery technology metals, the market's now starting to understand that all those batteries must drive a, an electric motor, and that electric motor, to be efficient, must have neodymium and magnets in. Gavin, we have noticed that in our trending section of our site, our top 10 most read articles right now are rare earths, rare earths, rare earths, and rare earths. So what's happening out in the market? Well, we've been speaking with um, car manufacturers and battery, um, sorry, magnet uh, producers. And what we're seeing now is that car manufacturers are starting to place orders for those magnets for the new spec electric and hybrid vehicles. And uh, we all know that rare earths are a major component of those, of those magnets. And of course, having been to the Norlands project site, which I, I treasure that experience, um, you have a couple of competitive advantages, including your uh, phosphate extraction uh, pilot program. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. The, um, the Norlands ore body is enriched in phosphate as well. And by unleashing the phosphate in the process, We've managed to get our operating costs down because we actually use the phosphate to digest the ore body itself. And this um, obviously will then also produce excess phosphoric acid which we can uh, bleed off the system and it gives us a revenue credit. It feeds straight into the fertiliser industry. The other advantage we have is that by doing all the processing at site, uh, we'll be leaving all our waste and residues at site from where they were originally mined from. And we think this is important in an environmentally and socially responsible way. What I'd love to know is why you're really in North America, Gavin. Well, we raised some money earlier this year and, and some of that money came from US investors. And so we thought it was opportune time to come back, explain to them that we're commencing our piloting activities, that we're putting their money to good use and we're doing what we said we were going to do. And uh, so as an extension of that, we've, we've, we've done that. We've met uh, those, those investors and we're also here to potentially look at others that might want to come on board the rare earth ride uh, throughout the next 12 months. Well, many of us uh, love the rare earth ride. So tell us what we should anticipate, say, in the next couple of quarters. From us, uh, we're going to continue our piloting. We're, we've now got $15 million in the bank, which puts us in good stead um, uh, to continue those piloting activities. All of that will then feed into our definitive feasibility study and, and ultimately project finance sometime next year. So watch this space for uh, results of our piloting activities. Well, Gavin, thank you so much for joining us again. It's lovely to see you. No problem. Thanks for having me, Tracy.